infomorphic, highly metastasized mimetic meme complex at your service. As one of the tour guides of VR travelers, I enjoy telling stories to mortals. We are a group of friends that create immersive, story-based tours in virtual reality. We do this with voice acting, original writing, beautiful worlds, and wholesome team effort. Tonight, we will journey to the western lush mountains. There, we will join the appraiser on her virtuous journey. This is a story-based tour, and as with any tour in the real world, please kindly remain silent during narration. However, please feel welcome to unmute your mic should you feel the need to laugh, cheer, or cry. In fact, talking is required during the tour as we walk. Otherwise, we mm. could go down the wrong path. My friends, this will be an invite plus world instance. Please make sure you are friends with another tourist should you need to rejoin. Now, without further ado, I will let the appraiser take the stage. Dearest travelers from above, I am the appraiser. It is an honor to finally meet you. I am on a very important journey, and I invite all of you to join. Hmm, <laughs> I sense you all are not familiar with the appraisal. Well, look to your left. Now, look to your right. Have you done it? Did you see them? Someone by your side? Okay. Are they one of a kind? Do they evoke mimetic emotion when you see their face? If so, well done. You have successfully done your first ether appraisal. Perhaps their companionship shapes the ending of the path you walk. Now, imagine for a moment that you can see their ending, but they have been erased from the script. A good friend is irreplaceable. No matter, no matter how far back in time you look, the whole of causality where they should be floats in your memory. Uh, uh, I, I tend to talk in thought sometimes, sorry. A anyhow, I will now open an invite plus portal to Eternic Village. Just a moment, friends. Wait for it. Don't go in yet. It's got to stabilize. You know how it is. Well, what if he's spread across by literal atoms? And be lost there it forever is. And eternity. My friends. Processing and this one is strong. Oh. <laughs> uh, it has been quite a few hours since my corporeal form has been in Felt like I just came out of a cave. Mm. Well, I mean, there is a there is a tunnel right over there. <laughs> it's lovely. This place is giving me a lot of a cute moment to mention that it's not waterproof. Oh, you'll be fine. 
Oh, I hate this. I hate it and love it. No, she's old no. I love it. Hold on, hold on. I might be out of there, so I can just don't move. Why? I'm bad from every other angle. Oh, Nato. That sure does sound mysterious. I need a photo. I don't know. Sorry. I need to take my hat. Oh, it, it disappeared as I took the photo. No! So, if I, if I make a hand movement, it, it erases it. If I do this, it erases it. It was hard to grab things without doing that. Oh no. <laughs> hey, I caught it the last moment. Oh, the turret, the turret, the turret. 30 seconds to a minute for everyone to arrive. While we are waiting, I would like to address those of you that are streaming. Coffee, VR, I believe you are streaming, is that right? Yes. Please, allow me to extend my thanks and welcome to your viewers, and anyone else that is streaming at this time. Please note, you are always welcome to stream our tours and share as you wish. No need to credit VR travelers, but if you do mention our name, we will be smiling. For those of you watching through someone else, Hello there. We hope to meet you in the correct narrative realm next time. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right? It is I. Mm -hmm. I'm furiously talking. Shut up. You okay, Proto? <laughs> but you are. You go wedge or anything like that? You okay? I'm not typing. Stranger. I'm sending my fingers. Oh. <laughs> Or claws. Oh, yes. Like, by we'll your wires, if it got anything damaged. Piece of mustard. No water damage or anything? No water damage? I just got here. Yeah, I think I have a reset. But the humidity oh. in the air, imagine being surrounded oh, by okay. waterfalls. Yeah. so humid. So, you probably reset it, so what happened the water. was you, you felt down. No, 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 don't, don't, don't tell them, don't tell them. They might, you might give them oh. PTSD. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Water only gone soon enough. It seems everyone has arrived, and it's time to begin. Well then, let's get on with the show. The appraiser makes her way through the western lush mountains. She smiles as she walks alone, passing various old ruins. Her adventurous spirit powers her forward. She sees everything in front of her as a beautiful thing to learn about. This would be her first time exploring this region. The everlasting quest to find a new flavor of ether guides her. She's been traveling for as long as she can remember. Walking, now, through a dark, moss-covered tunnel of carved stone. She emerges into a beautiful hidden valley lined with high waterfalls. A bright village lies at its center, as if waiting for her. Incredible! It's just as beautiful as I've heard. All right. Let's check my position. Uh... Huh? W why is my compass spinning? Uh... Some sort of magnetic disturbance around me? Well, I don't see anything. Of course. There is definitely something going on in this place. Mm-hmm. I'm sure I will find a Hi. pure crystal here. I can already sense oh, it. Oh, hey. Welcome to Eternic Village. The appraiser audibly welcomes herself to the village, grinning into the sky. A moment passes. She adjusts her merchant backpack, and now looking straight ahead, she moves confidently onward. My friends, this way. Hey, hey, hey. Charging for Professor, he came to join us. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's 
My friends, there are treasure chests scattered around this world. Please refrain from opening them until a quest requires it. It does affect the ending. The appraiser stops before the bridge to focus on the ether in the air. This feeling... Wow, this is definitely a new emotion ether. A crystal for sure. But why is it so familiar? Hello there, Miz. An old man calls from up an orange tree. He breaks her train of thought. She looks and sees an overstuffed canvas pick sack is strapped over his shoulder and tied to his waist. It looks ready to burst any second. The old man nearly falls, trying to free one hand to wave. Hello? Oh, careful now. You are quite high up there. Oh, where is your ladder, Pop? Surely you have one. Oh, I saw it fall right over into the what? Ah, uh, here it is. Let's put it back up against the tree. Now, if that is not your person, why don't you take what you have home and come back for more later? Huh? I could have sworn it was. Well, no can do, miss. You see, harvest has started, and I woke up especially early this morning to get picking before the darn kids. Anyways, thanks for your help, uh... Oh, your packs. You're a traveling merchant, aren't you? Indeed, Pops. I'm here to roll coin, eat hearty, trade booty, and make friends. Ho <laughs> oh, ho, I love it. Welcome to Eternic Village, you spirited lass. The market is just down that way. The friendly villager returns to picking oranges. Focused, the appraiser crosses the bridge toward the market. This way, friends. Okay. The fact that he can, the fact that he can change his voice so, like on the fly. Yeah, you heard it right. Yeah, it did happen at one time. Mm. Wow, you did get lost in this world really fast. He do got the wagon. He do got the wagon. Wagon. He got the wagon. He had to be dragon. dragon. Yeah. <sighs> Time for my daily T pose. Who the fuck are you? Daily? It only happens once every two weeks. Oh my lord. Geo has yeah. asserted dominance, and I absorbed it. <laughs> Is there a dominance while flying too? <laughs> <laughs> really? What kind of ether Double color ascending. is dominant? Yes. <laughs> I've it never is. heard of this color. The sexiest color. The appraiser enters the town square, <laughs> the central point of the village. She studies her surroundings, observing all the people busy preparing for the day. She tries to hone in on the ether crystal. But the air is too thick with all kinds of buzzing flavors. Ether melons, get your ether melons. One bite and you will be in your mama's arms again. Warm bread, wheat, rye, wonder, sourdough, banana, corn, ginger, pumpernickel, we got it all. Fresh fish, seafaring sea demons caught fresh from the Ava River. Got some squiddy things here from last night's catch, too. Oh, don't put your hands near the body ends, miss. The appraiser smiles. Things for sure. This place is full of interesting stories and new friends. She already loves it. The appraiser 
runs out into the center of the street and spins in place to see all the possible locations, her arms out as if she is dancing with the village itself. Let's see, we just came from an orange grove near the entrance bridge. In the market, we have a magic bazaar and the baker's stall. Down the way, it looks like we passed a pumpkin patch. Then further down, I think I saw there are some fishing docks there with lots of ships. The other way leads to some rolling fields and a farmhouse. And also, there was a big hill full of windmills. I think I noticed a weird smelling windmill on the way in here too. Also, is that singing I hear? It sounds familiar. Finally, there is that giant tree up that way. There is surely something interesting going on there. Ah, uh, okay, focus. I need to find that crystal, and I wonder where I should look first. My friends, while remaining here, Please discuss which location the appraiser should explore first. You the have tree. 30 seconds. Smelly windmill. I think she sees the Windmill. Smelly windmill. We did the windmill already. <laughs> <laughs> we so we're going to snack first. We're going to want to snack first. The baker snack mm. sounds good. Ooh, yeah, I'm going to snack. Maybe the baker is a snack. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I do. This, I mean, I mean, I'm with that. I mean, the bakery I is okay. We can do the bakery. That's incredible. <laughs> oh yeah, what yeah, do you think? That's what you gotta wear now. That's your outfit now. Fair enough. Who's I mean, I this is one of my outfits? I, I only pay attention to the time, time has expired. <laughs> I believe I've heard a group consensus already that the baker's stall is the first location. Is that correct? Yes. Uh, yes. 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 Democracy says yes. This way, friends. What about communism? There is no democracy. <laughs> Only majority vote. I'm glad What's happening? Isn't that just democracy? Don't jinx it! Exo, what's away, happening? At the same time, no. Mm. Oh. I've already told him mm. not to interfere. I don't think he listens to me. Oh, what? Oh, like, oh, like he cares about that. Yeah. Oh, oh, hey, yeah, it looks like even he cares. What Dearest oh, friends, your going. attention, please. Apparently, this is a story world. For so those of you that are new here, yes. normally, I give a full minute to the group to decide which location the appraiser will explore next. But the group has already discovered the correct path, but they have not yet achieved the good ending due to other challenges. Therefore, I will be shortening the time to decide which location the appraiser explores. Hey. That way, you understand what's going on. Okay. The appraiser makes her way to the baker's stall. The air is warm and sweet. She begins to walk on her tippy toes with her nose in the air, following the smell of carb magic. <laughs> She looks down and sees a colorful assortment of bread. Some are lightly engraved with little design. She can sense they're infused in those. I bet this one tastes like purple. A plump lady what? with big rosy cheeks bounces over to the counter. That's right, you're a clever one. Able to tell the ether type by just the smell. You're not from around here, are you? Well, you can't pass through the western lush mountains without trying some of my bread. My bakery is known for having an exotic variety made from rare ingredients. Would you like a sample? Actually, I'd like to buy a whole loaf of this here ether-infused blueberry bread. Uh, no wait, make it go. Oh, how wonderful. You have made that my day. I know the price is high, but it's my passion to use rare ingredients for bread. They are just so awfully expensive to acquire. But thank you. The appraiser hands over a fat stack of coin and immediately begins bread. Mmm, 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 so good. 
I'm looking for an ether crystal. Rumor is, there is one in this village. Hmm, I haven't heard any rumors. There are infusers and alchemists here in the village. They may likely know something about it. Uh, a light warning for you. They are an odd bunch. The appraiser says goodbye to the rosy-cheeked baker and stands in the street, still nibbling on one of the loaves. My friends, please, only one of you, take one of the bread items from the bread stall and carry it with us during the tour. Well, take care he has one not him. to lose it. I think Repestro was kind of made for this role. <laughs> Repestro. Repestro, got this. Don't Jesus, lose it, with please. Your life. <laughs> you Don't better. drop it. Do not you drop it. it. <laughs> My friends. Yeah. And don't use it as a body pillow. <laughs> Dearest like friends, you have 20 seconds to decide which location the appraiser will search next for the ether crystal. The Tree? orange grove. 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 I guess we're going to the orange grove. Orange grove. Orange grove. Orange grove. Angel Grove. Uh, 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 going pretty good. How's it going? No. Mm. Uh, uh, Eight-hour class today. That was long. <laughs> Keep going like this. Are you streaming too? So. My friends, I've heard the Orange Grove is the next location. Does anyone protest? No. Nope. Very well. Okay. This way, friends. <laughs> I just don't know the expressions on this avatar yet. <sighs> okay. Onwards. Progress. Racing. Yeah. Drifting. Let's go, boys. Zoom in. Yeah. God, I'm excited. Oh, thing, I'm cool. really excited. Yeah. Along in my camera. It's hilarious. <laughs> 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 Oh, he's coming. You got them hops. <laughs> you can run, but Shia LaBeouf is faster. I mean... <laughs> I'm fast, too. Hey, what? Look, look behind you, Protag. Oh, my God, Jim. I, no. I fly. Why do you didn't say banana? That was dip. Uh, I believe I can fly. Ooh. Uh, says that actually met you on VR chat probably. No touchy. Do we do we get loot? No touchy. No touchy of the no loot. Touchy. Touch. No touchy. Touchy. No touch. No touch of the loot. Or burns. Can I poke it? Don't touch, oh, yes. or you'll be framed for fact for tax fraud. I have fraud. a special announcement. <laughs> <laughs> All of you are wonderful. Wonderful people. The story continues. No, what an emergency. No. The appraiser returns to the orange grove near the entrance bridge. There, she sees the orange picker sitting down under one of the trees, concentrating with an orange in one hand and a dagger in the other. Hmm, are you planning on infusing those oranges? I thought you needed to hurry before the village kids get here. Oh, hello again, miss. Well, you see, I'm too old to get back here in time for second picking. I figured I would try my hand and the oranges I have and, well, selling them at a high price. You know, just like those fancy magic bread loaves. Oh. It looks like I have no idea what I'm doing, though. You mean, one of these magic bread loaves? The appraiser holds out the blueberry ether-infused bread. Just then, a pack of rowdy kids come parading over the bridge. They stop in front of the orange tree, but one of them sniffs the air. Quickly, 
The whole pack is alerted and surrounds the appraiser, eyeing the expensive bread. The appraiser looks over the small crowd and watches as the orange picker frowns and looks down at his oranges. She has an idea and asks the hungry kids to make a deal. She says, leave the orange trees alone today and she will give them the entire loaf she carries. The hungry kids quickly agree. They take the bread and scurry back across the bridge. Oh, miss, you didn't have to do that for me. That was some top shelf dough you just handed over. Oh, well, I'll have the whole day to pick as many oranges as I want. Please, take this old dagger. It has a little ether in, inside itself. I'm, I'm sure you will make better use of it than me. My friends, replace the in, infused dagger in the chest with the bread loaf we carry. The appraiser accepts the trade and studies the dagger. The worn designs appear ceremonial. The blade itself is in perfect condition. She can tell the steel is infused by engravings along the sides. They still give off a faint magic. The appraiser turns to face the village and reviews all the places she can explore. My friends, you have 20 seconds to decide where the appraiser will go next. The mysterious magic, magic, magic bazaar. 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 You call it magic. 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 I'm being patient. Ow. Ow. In an act of unity, oh, like I have heard the entire group request a single location. Bazaar. Our next destination yeah. is the Magic Bazaar. Is that correct? Yes. Mm, I guess so. Yes. We're making great time. My friends, you are such a cooperative group. Thank you. Now then. Yes. The Cold War is The wings are the power of our thoughts. What that person said, very nice. My friends, this way. <laughs> if, you can, if you believe hard enough, you can Goodbye, fly. Goodbye, giant bird loaf. Also, yeah, oh. very powerful. Up on the roof. We'll forever miss it. We will need it. Oops. Nah, he's just jumping real far. Like Iron Man. I feel like Iron Man. Into a billion star pieces like fireworks. Rocket boosters. Boosters. La boosters. La boosters. Boosters. Boot rumors. Feet zooming. Toenail projectiles. You stuck, Lucian? You do it. Don't come any further. Oh, blasters. <laughs> I love being able to travel. I love I love fast traveling Ankle. with flying. Shooters. Books. Oh. Yeah, that was not like gibberish to me. Because it probably is. <laughs> Speak, friend, and enter. Right. It looks My like friends. Something... Your attention, please. The story continues. The appraiser senses ether in the air as she approaches the mysterious stall of the magic bazaar, which is mysteriously quiet inside despite its position in the central market. Inside are various mysterious items like jewelry, ceramic, vials, and books. The appraiser ignores them all and continues to stare at a mysterious tall stack of dark books on the table. Suddenly, a mysterious voice comes from the shadows. 
the appraiser looks. At the man standing in the corner of the room. No. Not supposed to be here. Uh, How did he get zero, here? Zero, what's, zero help. What's going on? Yeah. This isn't his story. Yeah, I was about to say that. It's, this isn't his story. She looks down the alleyway and she walks this way. Oh, 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 okay. okay. oh, oh, the story is oh, 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 Throwing everyone into a monkey wrench. Fuck, 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 no, 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 She looks at her hands. She's holding some sort of magic lantern. And her infused dagger is gone. How? How? How did he? She says goodbye to the mysterious infuser and then reviews all the places she can explore. My friends, you have 20 seconds to decide where the appraiser will explore next. What the... Um... Oh, yeah, we gotta escape. Docs? Yeah, you must keep going. I told you. I don't remember this <laughs> DLC. Oh, I don't know the context uh, the docks, of what's going on. Oh, oh, the docks. Uh, we'll explain later. I guess the docks, right? Yeah, yeah. You'll you'll see. See. <laughs> this is what happened. <laughs> and the man in the corner. Uh, let's do the system. Someone is messing with the story, bad person. Wait a minute. Hey. Oh, we don't know what their hey, uh, alignment uh, is. But, uh, are you uh, streaming right now? Yeah. No. I, I no? just don't know the expressions on my avatar. Ah, okay. uh, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's talk about that. Error. Override. Repeat error. Override. Repeat it. Nani? The appraiser senses ether in the air. As she approaches, my friends, which location should we explore next? The docks. The docks. The docks. Dox. 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 Excellent choice, my friends. This way. Okay. Uh... Okay, what do we say first? Oh, I think we can't oh, along, but I, I want the good ending. Well, we, 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 all want the, we all want, want the good ending, but... Well, I'm curious we all want the good ending. ending. Sort of, there's multiple we don't good, have endings. The good endings. I think there's multiple good endings, but... <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen those two good before. Ending. Yeah. Yeah. The last good ending we had is on my YouTube, so... Yeah, about that, actually. Um, you'll see. Ooh, that's a pretty water. I'm Aww, pretty. Thank you. <laughs> Geo. I have a concern. I think, uh, I think like everyone does me. have right now a pro tag. Why yeah. the to have the good ending? Uh, has he good good ending. forced us to have the good ending last time? Exactly Who knows? Maybe he's something he from it. Maybe he just likes rubbing it in our faces no, that he's better at doing our job than we are. But what if he's getting exactly. something from us, continuing with Who the knows? stories? Getting new, getting uh, he referred ones. when Lucian Probably. when Lucian talked to him in the Discord. He, re he replied at, "Oh, that I disagree." Saw it, like, four so five basically, Lucian skip. actually actually pinged him. Run. Said, we don't need your help. Oh, he has the beer too. We're strong. Oh, wow, he's typing more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What are you getting? My friends, <laughs> the story oh, continues. Yeah. You're doing great. For those of you new here, we're on path to something amazing. The appraiser turns to face the sound of ringing ship bells. With her hands softly held together at her front waist, she trots happily down the scenic path toward the docks. In the distance, she observes several fishers lining the waters one of which seems to be struggling to reel in a catch. The fisher nearly gets pulled over the edge, and the appraiser grits her teeth and brings her hands up to squish her own cheeks in suspense. 
Finally, with the help of others nearby, the catch is pulled onto the dock. It appears to be a squid-type monster, and all the villagers surrounding trade looks of despair. The appraiser notices a tall woman with sun-bleached hair casting her own line off another pier with an empty fish bucket at her side. The appraiser meanders over and watches with curiosity as the tall fisher lure as the tall fisher's lure sinks beneath the dark water. Ah, uh, it looks like nothing is biting this morning, and the other fishers over there seem to not be having any luck either. Has the water always been this murky? Ah, uh, yeah. It's been this way for weeks now. These squiddy monsters rode in with the southern currents, and they made fishing near impossible. You can't even make the slightest movement, or they'll ink up the water, blinding all the fish. What's worse is they're nasty little buggers, and they bite our hooked fish and our hands if we're not careful. Hmm... Southern Current, huh? Have you tried fishing outside of the village on a larger ship with with a trawl net? The village only owns one trawl net or trawler and all the fishers share it. You know, I do have my own shift on it, but that's all I have now. The sun-bleached fisher looks over at her conversation partner for the first time. The appraiser watches as the fisher gloomily studies her merchant pack and traveling boots. You... you want out, don't you? You're out here waiting for your shift on that vessel so you can catch a glimpse of the world out there. Ah, uh, yes. You read my mind. I want to see the world my, my parents told me about. My dream is to eventually earn enough here to buy my own ship and captain my own crew. I'll sell the open ocean, go further than the Aquavi Islands. No more mountains between me and that horizon. <sighs> but now I can't even do that. Eternix One Trawler has reported the squiddies out there in the seas, biting through our nets as usual. Listen, don't give up. No traveler worth their ether would let any barrier to New World stop them. And trust me, I know. Oh, let's see, I may have something that could help you. Try hanging... This magic lantern, underwater. And then, cast your nets next to it. The fisher is thrilled to see the magic lamp not only remains lit underwater, but also drives away the squiddy monsters and attracts the fish. In her excitement, she motions to wait and runs off. The fisher returns with an interesting-looking shield that the appraiser immediately senses is heavily infused. I pulled this up from the ocean floor, way off the coast. I can tell it has some magic quality to it, though I've got no real use for it. Is it a fair trade, Miss Merchant? You got yourself a deal. Let's shake on it. Oh, by the way, uh, check out the Magic Bazaar in the market for more w waterproof lanterns. My friends, please replace the infused shield in the chest with the magic lantern we carry. The appraiser says goodbye to the tall sun-bleached fisher and then reviews all the places she can explore. My friends, you have 20 seconds to decide where the appraiser will go next to look for the ether crystal. Uh, so what place mm -hmm. are we going to have?
Smelly Mill. 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 Oh, that's a tiny shield. <laughs> I can already feel like previous corrosive uh, pro damages tang. coming up again. Pro tang. Master gem. Uh, your traveler shed. What? <laughs> yeah, I We're love this spelly mill. Yes, yeah. look at a Pog. My friends, <laughs> don't worry. I'm going to give you all a bathroom break because we've been skipping the usual 60 seconds that we normally give the group to decide. So, <laughs> let me ask first. Oh, fun. Is everyone sure that the next location is the Smelly Mill? Yes. Yes, I, I do believe so. I believe so. Yes. Because I was no one disagrees. It's, it's cool. Well then, <laughs> my <laughs> friends, let's walk no to the city. Smelly Mill and once we arrive, we will depart for two minutes bathroom break. Let's go. We don't. We don't. Something that we never take bathroom breaks. We rarely ever take bathroom. We we never take bathroom breaks though. Yeah, Is that a bad thing? <clears throat> Trey Jim is with a AFK back at the dock. Exactly Hello, like Ruby Star. Looking quite fabulous today. Good to see you. Oh, you too. I came prepared with a mask. <laughs> My friends. Your two-minute bathroom break begins now. Brain sunk. Go. I'm just gonna close my eyes for a little bit. Interesting. Interesting. What? Do not touch the chest. You will be infused with the. What are you talking about? Sweat. Oh, hey, <laughs> 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 Everyone's so tall. Hold up. Ren's different. Ren, are you built different? Yeah, I'm just built different. <laughs> we'll figure it out, guys. Yeah, yeah we'll figure it out. <laughs> Ren's built like a winner. Unless... <laughs> Team huddle, team huddle. Scene no, it's nothing. Uh, it, it couldn't be. What's going on either. What? Just chilling. Hold up. Yeah. I'm sorry. Apologies. What do you speak of? The appraiser looking at the man in the corner, and suddenly, He's back. Suddenly, the story, the story is altered. It happened. I heard too. the appraiser, and suddenly. What did you say? Ah. <laughs> Just ah, like with Trey That words, moment at the bazaar. That can't be seen. I thought we were going to get scared, <laughs> everybody. <laughs> the most interesting <laughs> turn of events. I stick over no words. You, you did not appreciate those words. Trey Jim is not over here. 
Maybe. We would hear nothing. Spill the beans. He could be Spill the beans. Spill the beans. Spill the beans. <laughs> Somehow, I'm quite a lot of drinks that are unable to, the, you, to understand you, you the concept. Or Rendizo could. Because Rendizo is going to be the one who saves us different. from this strange place. Rendizo can see the, 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 the camera, right? Shins. Well, 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 Thank you. Ah, uh, what is ether? Dear friend, what an absolutely wonderful question. I encourage you to listen carefully and take notes during the section when we go to... Let's see here. I believe it's Windmill Hill, and you will understand more. Or the farmhouse as well. You will un Yes, the farmhouse. You will understand more of what Ether is during the narration of that section. Lucian, you are truly a historian. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Ten seconds remaining for the bathroom break. Say so is going to be back though. At least once. <sighs> Oh, I can definitely smell something in there. Hey, Ragnaros, can you pull out the green oh, fire, Firehawk? The green one? Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. There you go. Fuck yeah. You've got some small amount of <laughs> All right, thank you. I'm just trying to, get trying to look withered because of what is inside this chest. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Wait, what? Oh, so Wait, does that mean... I'm gonna do that. So does that mean whatever is in the chest affects what you look like? Say those words. No, it's just really bad shit. Oh, Clearly, we're going yeah. to need your help. <laughs> okay. Yeah, y'all so, understand in a moment. Dude, whatever some, that means. Some nasty I shit. Know, okay. Mm. I really don't know what you're talking about. So, as an entertainment robot, my primary directive is making sure one's happiness is always my primary directive. <laughs> and for your happiness shield. and and result yourself, I would like to suggest you stand at least 15 mm. feet away from the chest no. when it opens. Agreed. Oh, I'm yes. I'm yes. Yes. I My friends, away. the story but will continue. you all are not. Uh, don't worry, don't worry, I wasn't gonna... Lovely I'm not gonna... Sergeant. I'm not gonna still see you, she'll look okay. will continue. My dear mortals, are you familiar with the concept of mercy? Yes. Yes! Uh, mercy does, mercy does not no exist. Mercy. It can provide benefits for the future. What's the opposite of that? Well then, please have it. Have as much as possible of it. In fact, take it all. So the rest of the people oh, in the so buffet well. line have nothing left. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean now. <laughs> the appraiser I like for this thing to be flares big. her nostrils <laughs> to pick up on that smelly odor she passed through the earlier. She sniffs hard near the door and immediately goes bug-eyed Regretting the action. Instant regret. By the gods! It, it burns! That is not ether! <laughs> My poor nose! It burns! <laughs> Suddenly, the door to the smelly mill opens and out steps. A ridiculously buff man with platinum blonde hair. My dearest Belle of the Farm, is that you? Have you finally come to your senses? The appraiser remains keeled over in pain, complaining of the burning. Yes, my sweet, you have finally noticed the burning passion between us. It's hot, isn't it? The appraiser rubs her watering eyes and continues to groan. The swole man reaches into his 
unnecessarily wide v-neck opening of his tight black leather onesie and pulls out a lacy pink handkerchief. He dangles it <laughs> near her face as he looks up at I the see sky. Oh, yes, cry my sweet dying. field flower. Finally, you have realized I am the worthiest crop for your hands to harvest this year. Oh, dear God. <laughs> decided he didn't want to be here. Yep, I can't Trajan's blame dead. him. Trajan dies. Oh, no, no, why would you want to die? You this is the best part. And instead reaches into her backpack for her own cloth to wipe her eyes and nose with. Eventually, she stands up and regains her composure. She then has a chance to observe the bulging man, and her bug-eyed expression immediately returns. She looks up and sees his hair. It is shiny, much too shiny, and slicked down over one side of his head. She keeps following it like a forbidden journey for her eyes. The platinum blonde hair is styled into a long drill, spiraling all the way down to his thigh. She reaches the end with her eyes and just stares at the ground below the hair drill. Huh? What? Oh, you're just another villager. You can't just make weird noises outside someone's door. People might think you're a weirdo. Anyways, I am the alchemist angel of Eternic. I assume you are here to buy my famous beauty elixirs. <laughs> oh well, come on inside, but don't touch anything. To keep my potions pure, I keep high sanitary standards. <laughs> Before the appraiser can even introduce herself, the alchemist squeezes back into his mill. She ties her cloth around her face to cover her nose and follows. Inside, the alchemist is sitting on a jeweled round ottoman. With one hand, he grips a long wooden spoon, stirring the bubbling contents of a large cauldron. And with the other, he touches his face while turned toward an ornate mirror on the wall. The appraiser decides to just stand near the door. I'm, I, I'm, I am looking for, yes, yes, I know, you want a beauty elixir, <laughs> max strength, I'm sure, well, well, you're out of luck, you see, lately, my potions all end up with impurities, uh, actually, no, I, even the slightest contamination can ruin a potion's effect, and I would never sell anything less than a perfect product, no, missy, no way. As the alchemist goes on, the prayer begins to notice his hair drill. It's dipping into the cauldron as he talks to his reflection in the mirror. Uh, um, hey, you're holding my standards too high? Missing out on business? No, the alchemist angel of Eternic has a reputation to uphold. <laughs> no. You need to look at the bigger picture. I am. If I don't pursue perfection, then I would not be the buffet of manliness that only the sweet farmer is worthy of. That's that's not what... Not what you're here to talk about? Right. All you care about is shallow beauty. Your, your hair... You just don't see what's going on here at all, do you, missy? The appraiser pulls out the infused shield and slams it over the cauldron and yells... Drill? Eh, uh, weirdo. Uh, <gasps> you are a genius. Suddenly, the alchemist pulls a hand drill out of his onesie and begins drilling a hole right through the infused shield. The appraiser watches in horror as the expensive, priceless, priceless shield is destroyed 
Once again, bug-eyed. This is perfect. The ether effect will protect my cauldron from contaminants, and the hole is big enough for the spoon. Lovely, my day is saved. The angels sing. You, Missy, you want that industrial strength beauty elixir, don't you? Well, do me a favor. While I make you one on the house, take this potion here and give it to the most beautiful citizen of Eternic. You know who I'm talking about, right? <laughs> yes, tell them it's a gift from the alchemist angel. The appraiser checks the bottle. It reads, Angel Sweat in Silver Ink. Make sure they drink every last drop. What's that look for? Oh, don't worry. I mixed my essence into it, so they will only fall in love with my scent. Real love potions don't work with sight. <laughs> you weirdo. The alchemist places the potion in the appraiser's hand while she is still staring at the ruined priceless shield. My friends, please replace the love potion in the chest with the infused shield. The appraiser ah. decides not to ask anything. Mean the she then shield. reviews all the places she can explore. My friends, you have 20 seconds to decide where the appraiser will explore next. I'm, I'm hearing a song I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. Really the Orange Grove. I learn orange and experience things. It's been a thing. We just went to the Orange Grove. Yeah, we went to the Orange Grove. Each area is a one-off thing. And this experience... Now we can only go to a location once. ...has taught me the word pain. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing there. I'm sorry. The place where the mysterious singing is coming from. It's an extreme burning feeling. This, I believe, causes corrosive damage to all of my primary systems. That sounds like... Shall we then? I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Hey, listen. Tonight's a special case. Excuse me. One of you that said you don't know what you're doing anymore. Allow me to assist. I think I know what you are doing right now. You are having fun. You are making new friends. And you are living as you should. My friend, you are on the right path. Well, the strongest choices require the strongest wills. Hey, listen. Uh huh. Uh, what do you have in your mind? Are you Perhaps signing? You know who? Your time has expired, my friends. Where will the appraiser, the appraiser, search for the ether crystal next? Where the mysterious singing is coming from. Yeah, that's right. Singing. Yep, where the singing is coming from. Does do anyone that. disagree? No. My friends, the group consensus is the appraiser will go to the place that she hears the mysterious singing. My friends, this way. Onwards to victory. Yeah, you can start Onward, onward, onward Ether Soldier. The Neosphere. The fucking Neosphere. Oh, oh my god, so that's oh. awesome. Alright, I'm gonna have to ask you what it's like up there now. Technerd VR, are you streaming? Who? What? Are you streaming? No, I'm recording. I'm first? recording. Uh, I'll post it on my YouTube afterwards. Oh, dope. Ah, I can't see it because of all the grass. Ah, I touched the chest. Ah. <laughs> 
Yeah. 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 I can't unlock it though. I need a golden key. Even coffee. You don't have a key. Yes. <laughs> I'm barely. I'm blind. Barely. <laughs> blinded by the fibers. I touched the chest, but I did not yeah, open I it. Didn't see. <laughs> well, yeah, I can't see. Hmm. You can't see. Imagine even using the key. So hmm. you can just have a dust soap. <laughs> Disappointingly, you are level 49. Yeah. Really? <laughs> Okay. Okay. Hiding, 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 hiding. You must complete the quest of assisting the person who is singing. Yes. So, are we here to curse somebody? Yes, Bob. Write that down later. I thought that was awesome. When you were singing. What was? The song you were singing. While you oh, that was just improv. <laughs> improv. That's awesome. Improv. <laughs> My friends, the story will continue. Please gather around. The appraiser stands still. She lowers her eyes and listens. The melody fades in and out. She wears an uncertain expression, expression as she looks at her surroundings. Her eyes still lowered in thought. She realizes the sound is not in the air, but in her mind. She's not surprised. Suddenly, all goes silent. She hears nothing but her footsteps as she walks. She gets closer to... humming? A man familiar stands alone, overlooking the village. The appraiser joins with words. Cold fire clenched to my heart in the blue of night. Torn by this pain, I paint your name in sound. And the girl of the dawn with eyes of blue and angel's wings. The songs of the season are her only crown. He turns around and has a confused look, but soon changes to a warm smile as he tilts his head slightly. That's a beautiful song. Where did you learn it? I'm... Not sure. Where did you learn those lyrics? From the memory of uh, standing here singing to you. A memory of me? But we haven't met before. How don't you have a memory of something you never did? I'm not sure. This song... Uh, who are you? I can't taste your ether at all. Uh, you can taste a person's ether. Uh, that's incredible. But I don't have any, you say. I'm not a ghost, I swear. I'm an artisan. I work here in Eternic Village. And you... Hmm... You're a traveler, aren't you? Yes. I'm a traveling appraiser by trade and a trader by appraisal. I'm here looking for an ETH. What are you smiling so wide for? I, I don't know. I feel relieved, like I just learned an old friend is doing well for themselves. Uh, it sounds really weird, doesn't it? 
The appraiser finally breaks eye contact with the artisan and stares down the village. At, stares down at the village. Not the strangest thing I've heard today. Not at all. Perhaps we knew each other in another story. The artisan joins her, observing the busy village. Another story, huh? Then, let me ask you, how do we know if we, you and I, are the main characters of this tale? I guess that is up to whoever is writing our lines. We are at the mercy of the great script in the sky. <laughs> Uh, but what if we don't want to say our lines, though? What then? Mr. Artisan, you mean what if we want to be free? Where would our wills exist if not in the lines describing them? Our wills? In the mind of the reader, I suppose. Hmm. Is this how you normally speak with people you just met? Mm, uh, th th the same question can be asked of you right now. W well, okay. Before this conversation gets any weirder, listen, I'm on a quest. Mr. Artisan, there is an ether crystal in this village. I can taste it. Do you know where... I can find it. Actually, I do. It's right near us. That might be why it's so strong to you. There's a knight here visiting from the Desert Kingdom. Look over there by the time tree. He's holding it during his prayers. He hasn't moved in several hours, I think. The... A desert kingdom? What? Oh. Oh. Oh, finally. Look, it's beautiful. Wait. How long? I mean, no. How long? I mean, you. How long have you been, been standing here humming? How long? Oh. Oh no, I should get back to my shop. I'm a little behind on all the engraving orders I have. Uh, here, take this as a memento of our weird but memorable conversation. Oh, this looks like a, a, a rare herb. Uh, I don't have anything... Oh wait, yes I do. Here, I was told to give this potion to the most attractive person in Eternic. <laughs> Oh, wait, is... is this from... Oh, no, 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 no. Is this from the Alchemist Angel? I'm sorry, I don't want to touch it at all. Please keep it well away from me. I don't want to get poisoned. I like living. You c could just ask me on a date, you know. The appraiser grabs back the love potion and pours it to the grass, which promptly wilts and dies. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was toxic. Just keep the pretty bottle. Okay, okay, anyways, I want to learn more about engraving, Mr. Artisan. Let's meet again this afternoon. It's a date. The artisan sighs. The appraiser watches as he disappears into the busy market below. My friends, please replace the rare herb in this chest with the love potion. The appraiser then reviews all the places she can explore. My friends, you have 20 seconds to decide. Uh, windmill hill. The windmill hill? Is that the way to go? 
Mm. Windmills are nice. Windmills. I'm guessing that's the, the windmill here, right there. I do believe so. There are windmills and there are hills. I have completed the quest. Yep, windmill hill. Do you have Maybe one for the game. Yes, I finally got what I want. You got a rare herb. TBC is coming out soon. You gotta level up more. What is it, Sam? Do you see? Still gotta get to level 60 to start with. Do I see? Wait, is classic? That won't work. Classic is the cap at 60? Yes, I, I did. I thought it was at 50. Go yeah, to 60. No, I don't want to try because it'll be obvious. I don't want to. I don't want to okay, deal so with this right now. TBC is 70. But I do. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I last played retail. Have you played any classic? Yeah, about retail. Retail is 60 as well. I want to see uh, how much it oh, yeah, they, from mm -hmm. 120. Yeah, I played Shadowlands. That was pretty fun. Well, we already selected it. Oh, so this I mean, when when he when he <laughs> manipulated the <laughs> <him> last <laughs> time, he yeah, just kind of like we were already in the correct path, and he just decided to do it anyway, which makes no I, sense. I, I feel so sorry. I, I'm extremely disillusioned. I did throw a grading, and I, I, I was like, "Alright, I'm done." Excellent, my friends. Your time has expired. For those of you new here, if you feel lost in the story, don't. Yeah. Every tour is a new story. Sure, they are connected, and there are mysteries connecting all of them. But the questions you are asking are the same questions that the other veterans of the tours are asking as well. You are almost as, as far as long, a far, as far along as they are in solving everything and what's going on. Your confusion is very normal. In fact, it's valuable as being new here. You can offer new insights to the veterans of our tours to help them think of new ideas of what's going on they may have missed. So please stick around. We're going to need you if everyone wants to serve, if we want to get the good ending to everything. Well, looks like we're going to win because of someone who's only concerned with winning. <laughs> My friends. <laughs> Oops. I overheard Sorry. everyone mention Windmill Just Hill. Chill. Is this correct? Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. I feel like we're all have to ground up like so. or something. I had to pick up some flowers on the way. Mm -hmm. How much one should I grab? Mm -hmm. All right then. Excellent choice, my friends. This way. Break your legs. It's gonna be over here. Wait, where are we going? Windmill Hill? Yes. Yeah. Okay, just making sure. Hmm. Yeah, because I gotta start paying attention soon, actually. How many are there? What the fuck? I landed on it. That's that was some cool surfing, dear. Ooh, this is a pretty view. Okay. Menstrual. It took me quite a long time to remember that word. I wonder if my system are failing. Wait, yours too? <laughs> hmm? Yours too? It appears there are errors all over. We'd best be careful. Do a huh. check disc for bad sectors. I don't know when there's a third world break. Go and check disc. <laughs> Fourth world break. That a, that a defragment. Oh, Reinstall Windows. <laughs> <laughs> Put Linux on. Oh god, I just, oh god. Corneria, fourth yeah, planet of the lilac system. Windows My friends, <laughs> the story will continue. The wind. Are you beating Andros? 
picks up, swirling through the market square. The appraiser walks towards the hill, looking up at the windmills in Eternic as she passes. She starts to count them, but gets distracted by the whistle of the breeze. She hums along with it, forming a little tune that she times her trots and skips to. An old farmhand smiles and waves as they see her humming and twirling through the breezy fields. When the appraiser reaches a hill of windmills, she turns and bows to her single audience member. The appraiser looks. At the man standing in the corner of the room. Uh, no, the man He's close. Okay. not the man supposed in the to corner. be here. Oh, what do you mean? How did he get here? Doing. Why does his ether feel so? She looks down at her hands. She's holding some sort of magic staff. And her rare herb is gone. How, how did he? She says goodbye to the miller and then reviews all the places she can explore. My friends, you have 20 uh, seconds to decide the appraiser's next location in search of the ether it's, crystal. It's the, uh, Pumpkin the, uh, the tiger. Yeah. yeah, what's the speed up the story? Pumpkin pack. Just to get to the final. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. speed run or something. Ooh. I don't like this. I'm sorry for slowing things down. Speed. I'm just... I'm a bit smooth range. Mm, That's okay. Don't, don't worry, we're all confused here right now. Like, there's supposed to be story here, but then this is a completely new elsewhere. scenario. We don't know what's going on. <laughs> Listen, we don't know if the man in this, this corner is a bad guy. He might just be a very ambitious the traveler just like us he's just maybe, yeah, maybe he's just volatile to give us a and he's a bit glitchy but hey but aren't all the mental beings on different levels the, the, the real question is why does he want to show but you don't want someone to only want to fail as well I do not believe it is malicious, but I believe it knows that we're not. He's just speeding up the story trying to get us to get on thing. I mean, if he's doing that, why does he need to show us that he's superior? Why does he need to show us that he's superior? My friends, I don't think he's trying to do that. What is the group consensus of the appraiser's next location? Pumpkin patch. The pumpkin patch. Pumpkin patch. Pumpkin patch. Pumpkin patch. Pumpkin patch. Pumpkin patch. I'll head off to the pumpkin patch. Well, I hope you're wearing your Uggs and you're ready for some spiced lattes because we have the key ingredient. My friends, <laughs> this way. <laughs> pumpkin pie was that? Pumpkin spice was that? Juice and made out of pumpkin spice. Basic juice? Juice or pumpkin? <laughs> No, basic juice is the is the, ah, this is the main ingredient. Uh, do I like I apple juice. Like where this is going? That's like very <laughs> nutritious. White grape juice is well, white grape juice is better. <laughs> Pine crapple is good. My programming passion does not allow me to disagree. Oh, like, you know cran I do. like cranberry juice, but it's like pine. Oh, it's pineapples. I don't know the name Ow. of it, but it's some um, pine crapple. Is the name of that makes me not want to try it. <laughs> that's where you're not crapping out right now. Ah! That's when you get a crop of it. Mmm, you can pick the pumpkins up. Okay. Yes. Yes, if my such uh, uh, is Megazord, I am made of dinosaurs. Oh, oh that's, that's cute. cute. Are, are you the purple <laughs> ranger? That topic. He's a color we can't perceive. 
choose the color we can all. These are rainbow. Hey, so normally be a little nervous because I'm up next. Just realize that. My friends, the story continues. The market is rich with the smell of spices. The appraiser sees a great many raw and prepared groceries from a fresh harvest. One thing stands out, though. There are pumpkins all over. Every single one she spots is infused with a bizarre ether combination. She was trying to count each pumpkin, but lost track when she tasted the air around one of them up close. Hmm, this one... This is some advanced magic. Definitely not the work of an average infuser. She walks the street leading to the pumpkin patch to investigate. There, she finds a man lying on the ground, holding a pumpkin up close to his face. Listen, I know you're in there. Come out. Speak to me, please. Anything? Give me a sign. Uh, um, sir? I already pumped you, full of my love. <laughs> is it more water you need? You get plenty of sunshine. What else is there? Ah, uh, drop this. Excuse me, are you one? Are you the one responsible for infusing all these pumpkins in the village? <gasps> oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. I just thought you'd be vegetable here to help them grow. Uh, actually, pumpkins are a fruit. Yes, I am responsible for all of those expertly infused pumpkins. I am the great pumpkin ear of Eternic, <gasps> and soon to be the greatest vegetable mage in all the world. Pumpkin ear? Vegetable mage? Pumpkins are a fruit. Well, great. Well, being a great mage, you must know. About an ether crystal. Yes, I just need to find a way to infuse ether of opposite motions at once. Uh, normally, you can only do a few that are adjacent to each other on a known spectrum. If only there were some tool that could hold the dispersing charge. Oh, I've definitely seen ether motions of opposite ends in. Anyways, you, you mean like this heavily infused magic staff? Look at this. I taste about 12 ether flavors packed in here. Oh, yeah. That's exactly what I need. My vegetables, they'll no longer be just food. The villagers, they'll no longer call me crazy. I'll be famous. Oh, Jesus, that sounds wonderful. Destroyer of but, worlds. But listen, pumpkins are... <laughs> Okay. If I give you the staff, do you have anything to trade? Oh, all right. Here, take my uh, take my finest infused pumpkin. One bite, and your mind will embark on the thrilling adventure of the senses. Hmm. I don't think that's a fair trade. An infused pumpkin? Tell me. If you succeed in whatever, uh, you're, you're working on, what will you do next? Hmm. Well, I'll use my creations to bring joy to Eternic. The villagers are all so kind, even though they laugh at me, they, they still buy up all my pumpkins every harvest. They even invite me to the family dinners and, and parties. This place is my family. Ah, uh, yes, that's what I wanted to hear. Your family. Okay, Mr. Pumpkineer, promise me that you will do that. You will take care of all the villagers here as your family. Once you, uh, you make your breakthrough. If you can promise me that, you got yourself a deal. 
My friends, please do not touch the chest and take one of the pumpkins out of the patch. Now, give the magic staff to the pumpkineer. <laughs> the pumpkineer agrees to the deal, and before the appraiser can ask him anything else, he runs off chatting to the pumpkin in his hand. My friends, you have 20 seconds to decide the appraiser's next location. The farmhouse. The farmhouse. Pile some pumpkins. Farmhouse. Oh boy. Farmhouse? That means I better get into position. No run. Ooh. Fly like the wind, bullseye. I mean, oh. you. Uh, should, should, wait, should we get everyone to show my avatar before or after that? Before Just go over there. there and put your avatar on. Oh, that's right. You're you gotta farmer. surprise us. Yes, I'm the no, surprise. No, 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 no. yeah. Anyway, I'm just gonna make sure we're going to the farmhouse first. <laughs> My friends, yes, we're going as to the you know, VR Travelers allows our supporters to play NPCs in our tours. And today's NPC of the attractive farmer goes to the. It's honor to Geo. Please make sure you can see yes. Geo Nexus allows our as fully shown hello everybody don't worry i don't bite most of the time but <laughs> a good well choice there's modeling technologies anyway, it's really breathtaking I, I mean good luck oh thank you my friends oh don't worry i'll be I'll i be have fine. been notified that one of you request a second bathroom break once we arrive at the next destination i will enact a two minute bathroom break if everyone's ready, let's move to the farmhouse. This Physical. way. Yeah. <laughs> Frank, you. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, Get back here, I'm a bunk you. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm a bunk you. Jail. <laughs> We're all going to jail? Well, run, boy, run. <laughs> run, boy, run. Hey, I can't make my Do not look inside. Hey, no peeping. Don't get inside, it'll be more fun if you don't. Peeping crumbs. Get. I actually don't know what peeping crumbs are. No peeping toms. No pe no peeping cats. No peeping cats. I think that's. Uh, mm. no Why would you go on? Still pumpkin. Is that a is that a horse? No peeking. No coming in. My Discord button is my grab buttons. I'm sorry. I can, I can make. My hands are just a little grabby, you know. <laughs> My friends, avatar glitching out for your two-minute bathroom break has already begun. I'm not gonna spoil it. I haven't oh. seen it myself. I started. I'm back. I just had to grab a... it just myself. Huh? Me? Is it good? Protect. So do you. He has a deal. <laughs> We're still trying to figure it out. I mean, Trajim is anime. Oh, you can just go around the fence. Oh, no, 
spoil it then. Oh, spoil it. Oh, my emotional receptors are hurting. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ichi. My friends, oh. the story uh, continues. Uh, you asked what ether is. Oh, uh, listen carefully. The appraiser sees the rolling fields in the distance. She closes her eyes as she walks, tuning her senses to the ether in the air. It is unusually thick in this village. Understanding her unique gift and how to use it took a long time. Ether is an accepted but poorly understood force in this world. It seems it can best be described as the metaphysical energy that makes up a thought. Those thoughts must be attached to an emotion to take an uh, ethereal form. Conjuring emotion without specific thoughts leads to an unusable aura. Thinking about a flame while conjuring anger will light a fire. Creating fire is possible with other emotions, albeit much harder. Through years of practice, the appraiser can now identify which emotions are being used in magic. She does this all through a very strange sense of taste. How many known emotions are there, she wonders. What would happen if you found treasure, married true love? and had a baby, all in the same day. Then, you bake and infuse a pie with all the day's positive ether. The appraiser thinks out loud now. I bet that pie would be super yummy. She snaps back to reality when she sees she has arrived at the farmhouse door, she knocks only once, and it quickly opens. A very attractive farmer stands, staring at her. <sighs> Colonel, is that you, my love? Are you here to take me in? Oh. You're mine. You're my <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You see, I thought you were smart sitting here picking up for a lovely day today. You see, he engraved all of my incredible farming tools yesterday, and I, but he told me not to worry about the payment, so I told him that we'd go on a date. Okay? And he's, and he's supposed to come really up and pick bad. me up around now, but he's not here. Funny. But, well, I want to show up to the date with a gift, and unfortunately I don't have anything except a lot of, well, farming tools. I don't want to do it for gifts. If only I had something magical I, I could like use. Snake. <sighs> Why? Uh, 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 you, listen, you, you don't gotta go so fast, but I think I get what's going on here. <laughs> it's not a punk, you It's perfect. I can just what I need. Come on, give me that, come on, give me that pumpkin. Come on, give me that pumpkin. I'll even tell you how to get past the squire that's guarding the time, that guarding the tree, you know? Come on, let's have a mirror. <laughs> ah, it's my... Perfect. Continue. I, I, I thought you were going. My... It's perfect. Sorry. My fellow slayed friends, please replace the pumpkin pie 
in the chest with the infused pumpkin we carry. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we actually did get some his beauty, his girl. grace. <laughs> He's got a man. Breathtaking. <laughs> Tasty. Anyway, I thought you were the thank, thank you. Curl. Anyway, I. Anyway, I appreciate you giving me that pumpkin. It's really going to help things out a lot. So now, so now, I'm going to honor our deal. Come meet me. Come meet me by the tables for two, so that I can. But right after you place this wonderful pumpkin pie there. Before. That was the greatest now, farmer I think I, I've seen yet. Now, if you excuse me, I need to go prepare for my love date. <laughs> oh lord. There you go. That was the my greatest friend, one. My friends, please put your hands together for the attractive farmer. <laughs> Oh, tribute! Oh, stand, 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 stand. Oh, my little snowy stuff is just like the capacity. You are just fucking. I don't know what the fuck you are, but it's great. Oh God, it's Mike. That was funny. I was so nervous. My friends. Good shit, right there. Before the appraiser can respond in any way, the attractive farmer slams the door shut. Oh my God. <laughs> she sighs, then reviews all the places she can explore. My friends, you have 20 seconds to decide where the appraiser will go next in search of the ether crystal. I don't know where else there is to go. I think it's there's stumped. only one left. Ah, the tree. Right? Oh, the tree is the last place. The tree! Yeah, the tree. The tree is the last place. And even I know that, even though this isn't the... This is the first time I've been to this store. So I wouldn't know where any of the things are. What if we go back to the snowy window and get our... There's a tree, I guess. I had completed the quest, but my... Uh, I mean... I already have the dearest uh, friends. The way to do it. You are entertaining oh. me so much. You are now level 52. Dearest friends, you speak of the way. Pumpkin pie. Dearest friends, your attention, please. I am everybody. He's speaking. I have heard the group consensus is the time tree. Is that true? Yes. Hi. Yes. Hey, Kevin. Indeed. Very well. My friends, well done. We are nearing the end of the tour. Kindly follow me. Pumpkin pie. There's waffles in there. Hmm? Waffles. waffles. Ooh, waffles. I'm hungry now. What pancakes? Nom nom. Do you like waffles? Do you like pancakes? Do you like pancakes? My butt cheeks are too good. What the fuck? I'm going to catch you on costume. Sit down. <laughs> yeah, then you're falling. Yeah, then I can't eat anything. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to <laughs> pet and abusively pet him to death because he is too and he looks like a stud and he is the my friend. Like <laughs> like he is smart boy. <laughs> Dearest <laughs> travelers, the story continues. The appraiser slowly moves toward the giant tree, staring up to see how high it towers over the village as she walks. She tastes a strange numbing spiciness in the air surrounding the area. Stopping in front at the entrance to the tree, she observes a young soldier. He bears the crest of the great desert kingdom across his armor. He leans against the wall of the entrance, scratching at the cracked paint on his shield with his fingernail. 
Good morning. I see you're a fellow traveler on an adventure all the way from the the Great Desert Kingdom. The bored looking soldier slowly blinks. He turns to look toward the giant tree. He sighs. Then he turns back at the appraiser. Hey, oh wish. I'm waiting on a prayer. Literally. His Holiness of the Sword is back there praying to the Time Tree. I'm just his scryer. <sighs> Sworn to follow his every boring order. What's he praying for? To the giant tree itself? Nay, to the time tree for a crystal or some shit. Something. All I know is that I've spent me teen training every day for combat, and now I'm stuck with some prude paladin from Nissan. He doesn't drink, he doesn't play chords, he doesn't go out in the evenings, he won't even let me curse. To squire for a knight of the Allied Kingdom is the greatest honor, the King Brother said. Ah, blast the sand, sure it is. While they go out and fight sandworms, I'm being used as a doorman and a flippin' pack donkey. <sighs> Sorry. It's quite all right, squire. I'm sure there will be honor in this, uh, trial you bear. I'd rather be a doorman to the Dazil for bathrooms. At least I'd see some action there. Sounds like he's going to be a while, and, uh, uh you are overdue for some excitement. I was going to offer this super, uh, ether-infused pumpkin pie to the royal knight, uh, or, or I mean the holy knight, uh, you know, as, as thanks for his protection. But it will be cold by the time he is finished. It sounds like it would be a waste on his disciplined senses, so why don't you have him? I'm sure you would appreciate the, uh the mind trip of each bite? Ha! Blast his butt plate, he would. If he saw me eating this... Okay, miss. I'll give you the honor of watching the entrance here. I'll go enjoy this for a bit. Be sure not to let anyone through. The appraiser happily agrees and hands over the infused pumpkin pie. She watch, she waits until the, the squire is out of sight and then enters the swirling ether field of the time tree. My friends, this way. Did he just do a combat roll? My friends, the story continues. St standing in front of the tree is a tall, broad-shouldered knight, armored with silver-worn plates. Hello, holy knight of Nissan. 
Have you finished your prayer? The Holy Knight turns around. The appraiser speaks before. Perhaps it is appropriate. Why would an oath-sworn knight pray to this strange tree? I thought the Church of Nissan did not believe in ether as a source of God's strength. You're a clever one, traveler. I am here on a special mission. A mission given personally by the head of the church and the Desert King brothers. You see, there is a great evil presence in the southern regions. Our mech forces have detected it as near as the Ava coast. Warped monsters are beginning to wash ashore, all full of dark ether. Is that why you carry an ether crystal? To help guide you to the source? Not exactly. You see, this tree is special. Within its core, ether seems to travel. That comes from, or perhaps belongs to, both the future and the past. Perhaps even as the worlds. This ether crystal acts as a window for me to peer into time. I hope to look to the past to see the source of this evil presence, and hopefully find a way to stop it. In my current state, I am on. I'm not strong enough to confront whatever it is. Hmm, I've heard holy knights from Nissan are, Nissan are masters of light ether attack magic. I can sense it. You have great power, but there's something wrong. You have an imbalance. Yeah. I've fought the beasts roaming the southern regions. Animals composed only of dark ether. They should not be able to exist. The imbalance would kill them. Something is very wrong. The only thing effective against them are infused weapons. I've also saw a vision inside this crystal. A vision of an unholy force. You see, miss, I saw myself in battle, and I saw me sword break before the vision ended. Therefore, I also seek to do what the church would normally forbid. I seek to infuse me weapon. That is why I had come to Eternic. Rumors of great engravers and infusers here are well known. The appraiser stares at the massive holy blade the knight carries. I believe I can help. Mr. Holy Knight, I know several experts of both sorts in this village. We would need that ether crystal to make a weapon powerful enough for you. Uh, but one thing, I would also like to study the crystal of, for my own reasons, and I ask that you give it to me. I would return it to the church afterwards. May we make a deal? Hmm, you recognize my crest, and I sense honor about you. Please. Gather the experts you speak of. I will wait here. The appraiser nods and quickly goes on her way. The squire... Uh, the appraiser walks back out to the market square. She thinks back to all the people she has met in Eternic. My friends, this way.
Time to get ready. Mm -hmm. uh, this is fun part. This is where the fun begins. This is where the fun begins. And so it starts. Time to stick. Time to stick with my new BFF, Trajan. My friends, the appraiser walks back out to the market square. She thinks back to all the people she has met in Eternic. She needs both an, an expert engraver and an expert infuser to successfully help the Holy Knight. My friends, the appraiser must make a choice. And so must you. This is a quest that directly affects the ending. If you choose to look for the engraver, please stand next to my fellow tour guide, Trey Jim. If you choose to look for the infuser, please stand next to me over here. Well, he's saying he's going to get ready. It's <laughs> Trey. I'm going to go on ahead and get ready. Yes. Okay. Go that way. You'll need like 10 extra people to come out over there. Dearest friends that have chosen the path of the infuser. I will play the role of the jack-o'-lantern today. Your new tour guide is Rendizo. Please show Rendizo the same respect that you showed me. Just a moment. Dearest friends, you've chosen well. Your new tour guide is Trajim. Please show Trajim the same respect you showed me. Good luck. My friends, fellow travelers, you have chosen well. This is the path to seek out the artisan's help. The appraiser thinks about the few engravers she has met thus far in Eternic Village. She remembers two promises both made for dates today. Suddenly, as she looks about and wonders, she glances down a back street and sees a familiar face. The appraiser looks. At the attractive farmer who is pulling the artisan along by his wrist, they are chatting away as he is being dragged down the alley. Just as they round a corner, he looks back and makes eye contact with the appraiser and silently mouths the words, help me. The appraiser quickly follows. She doesn't want to be late for the date she was promised. And the artisan needs our help. My friends, this way. She's about to get that zuck zuck. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I made a good choice today. As you can see, friends, we have greatly bolstered our standards for the attractive farmer. 
this is your most yes. formidable opponent yet. Good luck. <laughs> the appraiser arrives to see a romantic table for two, already prepared. In one chair sits the attractive farmer, now glaring at the appraiser. And in the other chair sits the artisan, looking bored and defeated. <laughs> Look, Red, what are you? Wait, no, you're the appraiser lady from before. What are you doing here? As you can clearly see, I'm on a wonderful, beautiful date with the Colonel. I need the artisan. Isn't that right, baby? <laughs> I'm not your baby, but... Yes, I don't break promises. It would spoil my own ether. Actually, the artisan promised me a date as well. Today, to be exact. And I remember. You are the one that promised the artisan a date. A date he only agreed to as payment for work. Doesn't sound very binding on his side of the contract. There are no contracts in love on the battlefield. What are you talking about? You know what? Fine. Let's settle this right here and now. I challenge you, Mr. Fraser, to a battle date. Whoever wins the whoever wins earns the right to date the artisan for the rest of the day. The loser will become the third wheel that must roll out roll right on home and become the weapon that it surpasses metal gear. <laughs> Never one to back down from a challenge. The appraiser <laughs> accepts. My friends, we Pikachu, must enter into <laughs> a battle date against the attractive farmer, who today will be played by Geonexus. There are three rules, Milky. and they are as follows. Rule number one. Three questions will be asked. One from all three parties. Both the attractive farmer and the appraiser must answer every question. Rule number two. The group will speak for the appraiser, with one of you sitting on the chair to deliver the answer every round. This means that the group needs to prepare one question that the speaker must also answer when it is their turn. The attractive farmer will sit and remain in the other chair. Rule number three. The artisan will stand at the table side and judge which answer is the most interesting and meaningful to him. Honor prevents him from lying. Whoever has the highest score by the end is the winner. Are there any questions before we begin? Very well. Friends, the first question will be asked by the artisan. The attractive farmer will answer first, and why they do so. Please think amongst yourselves about what you might choose as your answer. All right. How about we talk about something philosophical? Does free will exist? Briefly, why or why not? Hmm, well, personally, I think you're asking the wrong question. The existence of free will can neither be proven nor disproven, so it is ultimately meaningless to ask if it exists. Instead, we should be asking if it has any true meaning to our lives. And to that, I say it does. The thought that our actions hold meaning, that they are important in some meaningful way. That knowledge, it, that knowledge that my life is in my own hands is more than enough to keep me going. The attractive farmer has given their answer. Friends, I will give you only 60 seconds to choose one of you to come and sit in this chair and deliver the answer, your own answer, on behalf of the appraiser. Your time to choose begins now. <laughs> Anybody got any ideas? Not the ones uh -uh. we haven't used before.
Oh, I haven't done this in a very long time, so I don't know what we've used before. But, uh, I mean, if it's based off of, like, religion, then you would assume no. <laughs> I would say free will does exist. But in the grand scheme of things, with the fucking script in the sky bit, eh, free will can't exist for you to alter the script to an extent. Uh, that's all I can think of. Yeah, well, I can go with that. If no one else has yeah. got anything, I got a, something written up. Go ahead. Oh, you have something actually written for this? <laughs> go, uh, for yeah, some yeah, go, go for it. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, go for it, man. You've got a plan. So okay. Now. God's plan. Come. Yes, I'm up. And sit. And speak on behalf of the appraiser. <clears throat> all right. Uh, so... Earlier when we talked, uh, I mentioned the great script in the sky. I may lead you to believe that I don't believe in free will, as the script writer can put anything into the mouth of his characters. And that may be true, but only at first. When the character's first written, uh, uh, they're a blank slate. Um, the writer, they can make them perform any action, say any new words, but the more they're written, the more they're developed, they start to a history, a motivation, a way of thinking, a will. And if the scriptwriter doesn't respect that will, this way. Uh, uh, no, is this where the, the then he starts to uh, lose his own status yeah, as a scriptwriter. If they don't, if they don't respect the story, uh, they don't respect the audience, and the audience is going to uh, see that. Um, and in the audience's collective mind, uh, the writer is going to lose his authority over the story. Um, and in the most extreme cases, another writer can stand up and will take on the reins of the story. And then this new story may not have the same name, uh, but if the new author respects the will of the characters, what's established before, then in the mind of the audience, uh, this is going to be the true story. So. Even if fictional characters have this element of free will, then assuredly we would have a, a free will a, a step beyond that. Yeah, that was good. Yep. I see. Yeah, a... On the one hand, the attractive farmer has said that the question itself is wrong. That the question should be, what influence do the choices we make have on our lives? What meaning do they have? And ultimately ended up saying that our choices do in fact have meaning. An interesting take. While the appraiser, Miss Appraiser, has offered a new way of looking at it, that Initially, according to the great script in the sky, the answer seems like no. However, as figures, characters, even fictitious characters in a story, <coughs> develop and grow over time, they do in fact develop some kind of will of their own. These are both very intriguing points of view to me. But I am giving this round to the appraiser. Well played. Yay. Hey. My round friends, one, you have round two. won the Fight. first round. It is 1-0. Round two. The second question will be asked by the attractive farmer. The group okay. will answer first, so think while he speaks. Okay, here we go. A ship is placed in a museum. As the planks rot of time, they are replaced with new ones. When no original planks remain, is it still the same ship? That is an interesting question. I think yes. My friends, I, I will give yes. you one minute to choose one person amongst yourselves 
to come and offer an answer. Okay, I kind of do have an answer for this, but my capability of speaking is crap. Um, oh, good. So I would say sure. yes. Because what he's asking is something akin to... Uh, so as you like live through your own life, your cells die and are replaced. And you are replaced around a few times. I, uh, it's like every seven life, years. Like every seven-ish so years or so. Your, all of your cells have been replaced. But, but you're the same person. the same person? Well, you're the same well, person, you have exactly the same memories. Yes yeah. and no, but we're, we're talking about a ship that doesn't grow or nothing like that. So, in this case, it would be yes, as it would be more the soul of the ship that is what you're looking for, not the ship itself. So the the originality of the ship is still there, but just, no, it's, yeah. the originality is, is not there anymore, it's just, it's still there, but in a new sense. Because you're in replacing pieces. Sense, yeah. yeah, you're replacing it in... in, in over time, replacing parts, but it looks the same. Yeah, it's like My giving friends. someone a prosthetic limb. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It may not be their leg, their original leg, but it is the still their leg. To it? choose somebody yeah. is up. You should be spending this explanation sitting in the chair. Who are you choosing, friends, to speak? You want to go, Tech Nerd? Uh, no, I'd rather not. You understood my explanation. My table of speaking is crap, so I vote you. <laughs> I vote you as well. Okay. Tech nerd, the crowd has spoken. Oh, Come okay. and sit and give your answer for the appraiser. So I would say... It, it... Oh! What in the world? <laughs> Oh, what the pumpkin. hell? The pumpkin. I saw what's his occasion. Middle key. That was the That was Jin. To answer the question, I'd say, um, it in in a logical sense, okay. it is still there, being, it's not the original, but it's still there in a logical state. People see it as the original ship, but over time, it, pieces are replaced to keep it in that same exact, you know form to you know preserve it for everyone to continue seeing it the way it was before back in the time kind of thing it's a good answer tech nerd thank you very much for your answer mm -hmm. the attractive farmer will now give their own answer i see here we go Suppose we were to replace the ship with a man, and the planks with cells. When no original cells remain, they would still be the same man. It shouldn't matter that the ship is not a living being, for as long as its soul, its legacy, remains alive and intact, then it is still the same ship, for something can only truly die when it is forgotten. Hmm. Okay, okay maybe I should... I see. It seems to me mm -hmm. that both the appraiser and the attractive farmer have, in fact, given more or less the same answer. However, Another draw. I heard one difference. Go towards entrance, we'll need uh, other people to go around towards, towards the, or whatever they're called, I don't know. Okay. The attractive farmer extended the idea not only to Hello, other group. biology, Hi. Hello. but to ideas themselves. And for this extra step beyond the bounds, I'm giving round two to the attractive farmer. Middle gear. Dang it, Snake is winning. We My friends, win. Hi guys, hi guys. it is one. Hello, lads. Goodbye. It's one all. You are tired. There is one more question. And you, the group, must choose somebody. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What happened to the pumpkin? Where did it go? And then give an answer to it. After the attractive farmer, I will give you two minutes to choose somebody. Who will I will give you two minutes. To choose somebody who will ask a question and then give an answer to it. Your time begins now. Anyone got anything? Nano machines. 
I got an idea that it feels a little bit like cheat, uh, cheating. Hey, yo, Kojima. Ah, yeah, there no, and... We don't want to cheat, really? We don't want to cheat. Like, you don't want to be here, so I don't think he'll care oh, too Kojima. much. It's about, you, know, you go up, you ask why we need to win this particular date, because it's a three, chance to talk yeah. about the whole enchanting the sword and saving the world type of thing. Oh, you mean like actually explain the circumstances already. that's going to end the whole world if we mm. fail. So you say. Uh, to the yeah. farmer yeah, and see if they're young. just too fucking greedy. Be like, nah, I don't yes, give a shit and the battle the whole date world's going to die. I'm, I'm keeping him because I'm yeah. on a date. Point. You know, there could be a it's day ready. tomorrow, mate. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I don't think he's got to take that. Uh, if, in all honesty, logically speaking, if I were in the situation of the appraiser, I'd be like, yeah, no, farmer, I'm sure you love the date. It's, I'm sure you all would make a lovely couple. Um, We kind of need to have a tomorrow for you to be a couple, and the world's going to end if I don't do this, so I, I kind of need this guy. Hmm. <laughs> like, that that's the whole solution for a lot of different things like this. Like, the world's going to end. My friends, you me. have one minute. Remaining. Yeah, no, go for it, man. Yeah, go for it. If you want to ask a question. Uh, let's see if we fail. <laughs> Alright, let's yeah. go for this. Have you chosen somebody? Sumo Cal. Yes. Once more. Yep. Please ask your yep. question. Let the attractive farmer answer first. And then give like your answer afterward. Let's hear it. It's free real estate. Okay. God. Why do you need to win this battle date today? Why do I need to win? You see, I need to win this because the artist, because I need a way to pay back the artisan. Because it feels wrong to let to let a good deed go unpaid. For if I do that, am I? I feel selfish. This is the best. This is the best way I can repay him without offering money, which the artisan has already declined. For I maybe mean, perhaps it is fate that led us to this very moment. Perhaps not, but I will. But I will be damned if I cannot at least repay the artisan in whatever way I possibly can. Sumerkel, please go ahead and Man, give your muted. answer to the question. Okay. Um, so. Uh, earlier today, uh, I felt we had a connection when we first met, but if I told you that's why I needed to win this battle, I'd be lying. For uh, There's always another day, and for you as well, this date can uh, happen tomorrow or the next day. Um, but I need to win this date on the behalf of another. Uh, there's a, a knight over by the tree who's so plagued by visions of unnatural monsters and of his own failures in fighting these monsters that he's skirting his very orders orthodoxy. He's looking to enchant his sword and he's looking for me to help him do this. I know I can't do it, but you, you have the skills to help him. So for my sake, for the sake of the night, for the sake of the people he's trying to help, Will you come with me and fulfill this uh, desire for him? I see. An unusual question, unorthodox, and quite different answers as well. This round, I feel, is quite close. Now, who am I kidding? It's not close at all. Attractive farmer, you owe me nothing. Your debt is repaid. You can go home. What? But, 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 Wow. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> Please, no, don't let me have this. Please, please, please. Go away, weird snake, sonic creature. Dies. What the? Appraiser and artisan. 
Every thought expressed with words creates a deeper mutual understanding between them both. The attractive farmer sits in silence, ignored, like a third wheel. You did, you did this. You set this up somehow. This is all your fault. I know you just want him for that ether crystal. You, you, you. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> he just jumped up. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay, can we just say she's still just sitting in the chair pouting? Can we just go with that? I prefer this outcome. Having clearly okay, won the date right. battle, like, yo, 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 the appraiser expresses right. joy and embraces the artisan in celebration. And then she remembers the task at hand and explains it to the artisan as they walk together to the time tree. My friends, well done. And come with me. Okay, then. Two for two. That was good. Not bad. Huh. Yeah. Thanks. You did good. That. I'm going to need to invest in your PC, you bought. You're the greatest <laughs> thing. <laughs> no, we need to yeah, work. Nice. I put a lot of effort into this. You, I can't believe you guys I came to tell. the same conclusion. You guys came to like the same conclusion I prepared for the second for my question, no? Oh, the second one? Yeah. Oh, like, <laughs> even the part about, even about, the, part about the man in the that's, even that's the part the about the man cells. Like the part about cells, yeah, like yeah. and the man and the man. Yeah. You guys can like, down in the garden. Oh, the question and oh, yeah, that's the only thing I think it would have had a problem on that one. Yeah, pretty much soul. What a two cheese. Zin, mate, Zin, what was that charge of the battle cry earlier? <laughs> what, what was it? The charge? battle cry. What charge? No, no, he did randomly while we were doing it. He charged. Oh wait, no, you were there. What are you asking for? <laughs> yeah. A battle cry. The only ever battle cry I would cry yeah. is one for everyone to be happy forever and wholesome unity. You made everyone laugh, so you succeeded. Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. When I picture the world, yeah, succeeded. I picture you smiling. Surely. Fucking Christ, my voice hurts. I picture you gotta drink water. Drink, drink some water. I have, like, oh, I, have I have water next to me. Oh, okay. Actually, you know what? Be better for with hot tea with some lemon or um, honey. Well. I don't do hot. I don't drink tea. No. I don't like tea. Oh. I just feel a solid snake voice. Of course, my voice is gonna hurt. Oh. You guys feature pumpkin rings? And here we yeah, we did. Yes, we did. Awesome. Your Fuck yeah. Kojima, right? so how did how did go over there? No. Was awesome. Pretty good. Uh, two one. Um, we barely lost the second round. We won the first one and we won the third one. Where is Trajan? Oh, what do you mean? You've been here before? Yeah. Well, uh, the, the, there is. We had to uh, do three questions. And we beat two of the questions. My friends. What were that? Dearest mortal the, 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 of the narrative plane. Okay. Dearest invite friends. Invite me to another world or something. My friends. Listen. Look above you. Do you see the sky? You see blue. And you see the clouds. I see the but sky. But do you feel the Unus Mundus? Wait, what? Do you feel I see different shades of world. Um, I, const yeah. I constantly yeah, feel it every time I drink the the alcohol, so yes. The My friends. What is Erratic. Unus Mundus? My friends, what is the Unus Mundus, you ask? I will be glad to answer that question at the bar after the tour. But for now, the Unus Mundus shines bright from my perspective. But the tour must continue. We are at the end. The time is almost expired before the book, I mean, before she, my friends, this way. Huh? Before the book is closed. Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh shit. Bring the connection here. Something is interfering with the timeline. Well, here we go. 
Am I the only one who has a wait? Okay. Uh, what? She was referring to Sophia and the appraiser dies here. <laughs> oh shit. Sure. I'm scared. I'm very scared. Everyone. My sincerest apologies. But at this what? time, I must ask all of you to hit the escape key and go to your menu. Search for world music and turn it to zero. I repeat, <gasps> turn world music to zero. I will give you oh, 10 seconds serious. to comply. Resistance is futile. Nine, eight, seven, <laughs> no. six, I'm kidding. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. The appraiser returns to the time tree with both the artisan and the pumpkineer together. The Holy Knight notices and welcomes them all with a serious face. This person here is the Pumpkineer. He is a powerful infuser and an ether mage. He's the strongest in the land, I assure you. And Look over here. This person here is the artisan. He is an expert engraver and master artist. Excellent. Artisan, sir. Mr. Appraiser. Mr. Pumpkinier. I put my trust in you both. I trust the appraiser has told you the important nature of the task at hand. Well, let's get to work. Miss appraiser, please hold the ether crystal. I must enter into prayer. The Holy Knight hands the appraiser the ether crystal, and for the first time she sees it up close. It is a dark purple color. She immediately has trouble looking away from it. Her mind seeming to forget her limbs. What sort of prayer should I do while I, while they work? Um, firstly, one of God's temperance, one of God's courage. No, uh, not to God. You are willing to try something not normally done by the Nissan sect, uh, correct? Instead, Pray to your most innermost thoughts and feelings. The Holy Knight quickly changes his expression to one of disbelief. You recite the words of the old teachings. Teachings done away with, almost forgotten. Who are you? The appraiser is not listening. Now she's focused on the purple crystal in her hands. The artisan, now holding the holy sword, asks 
if he may begin. The Knight of Nissan looks over, forgets his concern, and nods. The artisan works with quick, sharp movements. His eyes close every few moments as his hands stop moving. He works. He works expertly. Each time this happens, his engraving tool glows bright with heat ether. The Holy Knight watches between prayer verses and thinks to himself that this man works truly like an artist, treating his blade as a delicate tapestry. Time passes in silence. Finally, the artisan is finished. The markings are strong, ready to be infused. The Holy Knight observes and quietly tells the Pumpkineer, It is now time to infuse the markings on the blade. The Pumpkineer takes the ether crystal from the unresponsive appraiser. He grips it with one hand while placing the other on the Holy Sword. He stares at the time tree for a moment and furrows his brow in confusion. Travelers, are you paying attention? The pumpkin ear gives a dismissive expression and closes his eyes. Now off to the side, the artisan watches silently. After a while, he turns to look at the appraiser. His hands twitch. A slow wind begins to build. The artisan and the appraiser trade looks mutually, wondering why this feels so tense. Again, they nervously look to the crystal. Its purple surface is reflected in the appraiser's eyes. Its dark core growing more opaque, appearing to her. A scene plays within. A massive airship flies over a sky filled with fire. Flashes of light are bursting in the air all around the vessel. Below, a man stands on a cobblestone street surrounded with people screaming and running in terror. Ignoring the panic, the man in the crystal watches the airship in the sky. He watches it collide with a structure. A structure not connected to the ground, yet filling the entire horizon. The man winces in pain and anger as an ignited sky is reflected in his eyes. Now standing under a firestorm of falling wreckage. This mysterious figure, this man in the crystal, he slowly turns his head toward oh. Miss Appraiser. Okay. Is everything all right? Oh, Lord. Ah, it seems we are finished. Oh, what fine work. Hand me the blade. Oh, yes, what power. This is... Yes, this is why I can understand why my... Why my oaths were written as they are. Though I have broken those oaths, I will not break another. Miss Appraiser, please take this strange crystal so I may retain some honor. <sighs> well then, 
Miss Appraiser, Mr. Artisan, and the Pumpkineer. Yes. Please excuse my abrupt departure. I must seek out my squire, and I must leave. I will journey to the southern regions. As the holy knight unceremoniously walks away, the appraiser is somewhat stunned. And with a blank expression, she places the crystal in her backpack. She stares toward the tree as the pumpkineer quietly stands, bids farewell to the remaining two, and walks away. <gasps> no. Wait, what? You show he up said again? I'm quitting. The did artisan the man, speaks. Did the man in the corner show up again? No. <laughs> oh, I've never met him. Some reason, huh? Everyone cast. You saw it too, didn't you? I did. Uh, can we go somewhere else to talk? A away from this tree. With the ether crystal now in her possession, the appraiser follows the artisan to his village home. My friends, this way. Oh, shit. Bro, we're gonna get a sleepover. Is this new? Never gone this far. Uh -huh. Oh shit. Trey, yeah, did you see my uh. Can we turn the music back on? We've gotten this uh, oh, yeah. path a few times now. Yeah. I think I've done this thing. But we've this always failed right time. at the end. This time that won't happen though. No. Hope so. I'm running like a fucking monkey. I mean, if he really wants us to get the good ending, it will happen anyway. The ending. Yeah. If he wants to really us to have the good ending, it will happen. That's, that's wild, because I have a mirror on. It's actually yours. Damn, is well, this a thing? Yeah. Boom. I'm not gonna lie, I'm still thinking about Did I Neon Petra. Amber, my friends, <laughs> the story I concludes. There. I don't know how it happened. Please, listen carefully. The artisan opens the door and welcomes her in. She looks around, noticing the many engraving tools and sculptures displayed. She then notices a set of papers on a table with familiar sketch designs. She takes one of the papers and finds a seat. These are the plans for the engravings you do. When they are drawn like this in a line, it almost looks like a line of text. Why do you think engravings allow ether to be infused into things? Are they symbols from some sort of language? Uh, no, I don't think so. They are more like drawings to me, but that thought has crossed my mind. The pumpkineer is able to use the shadows of a lit jack-o'-lantern as a second set of engravings in light. This, somehow, allows consciousness to emerge in pumpkins. I suspect it's like giving speaking lines to the ether he infuses inside. Uh, now that I think about it, that is probably why he could not control it. It was an expression of his inner self manifested that he likely does not yet understand. Is your work any different 
Mr. Artisan, your sculptures here are just expressions of yourself. If they could talk, they might say something you don't know about yourself. I mean, don't you think? I, I suppose, but I don't do infusing work. So, you wanted to talk about the vision, right? Uh, uh, yes. A actually, I think this is how the crystal gave us a vision. I don't understand. I, I, I wonder if you could create a piece of art that you could interact with like a song that holds specific memories. Not in the verses, but... Okay, how about a painting that holds a single person's ether? Or even a story that you could live inside? Living inside a story? Uh, I don't see how any of that is connected to the question you asked. And to me, ether is just lingering emotions in the air that persist. I express myself through art. Infusing art would just cause the emotions you put in to linger. Art. Yes. Yes. Yes, that's right. That's what I remember. It... Okay, Mr. Artisan, then how about you make a sculpture of me? I want to see if you are right. Uh... And to test something... Uh, I don't have the necessary stock of marble. I've always run out by the time harvest starts. The appraiser looks around, and she sees an untouched block of grey marble by the window. I see a block... Right there. Oh, yes, there is that, but a sculpture would take far too long. Don't you have to continue on your journey soon? Y yes. <laughs> okay. Mm. Mr. Artisan, then how about a painting? That shouldn't take long, right? Oh. A painting. I can't remember the last time I painted. I don't think I have the correct pigments on me. Specifically, the one I used for your hair is from a flower not found in this region. So, I... The artisan stops and realizes what he just said. He looks at the appraiser. Her expression is of a comforting smile, eyes motioning for him to look behind him. There, in the corner, by the opposite window, is a blank canvas and several small buckets of paint. What? Um, you, you... You know those weren't there a moment ago, don't you? I didn't do it this time. This time it was you. Mr. Artisan, what else... Are we not telling each other? You know exactly what is going on here, don't you? Well, let's see. It's... It's like I remember something that hasn't happened yet. And I imagine a different outcome and the necessary changes 
suddenly are there for that future to become real. You have been playing dumb about several things, and you knew that I knew you were coming to Eternic, didn't you? Uh, I... The appraiser nods. And you knew that I know I've been waiting for you. Waiting for me? So you can finish the painting? The, the painting, right? If, if you are living with this strange gift, tell me, how are you so hopeful? Don't you feel like you are not in control? Doesn't all this disturb you? <sighs> the crystals, they hold the clues to it all. To other worlds, each one gives a vision to a place I know, but I have never been to. It's like a piece of a puzzle. My past seems to change with this power we share, and I have no way of going back to see what is real. But the visions and the crystals, they are real. I know this now because... Because we were near the tree. It must be a natural ether amplifier. Wait, wait, slow down. You said they can show us a past that we can't rewrite with this power. Have you tested this? <laughs> yes, Mr. Artisan, no matter... No matter how much I change my past, the memory of the vision remains... The crystals are like a rendezvous of other worlds and some uncertain fate. No, that was not the first vision I saw in a crystal. And, and just like the first time, I'm sorry, just like the first time I could taste the ether of many people around us. Please try to understand. This time, however, thanks to that tree... That tree, I, I could feel that they are in fact watching us. I don't think we are alone, Mr. Artisan. The two talk for a long while. The evening approaches, and the artisan walks with the appraiser to see her out of the village. My friends, this way. And so the end approaches. They know we're here. Oh boy. <laughs> well, surprise, Look Amber. That. Guess what? Yeah. <laughs> Tons oh, of new man. stuff. <laughs> the darkness comes the into all the world. Oh, oh man. <laughs> We have been this mind sticking my pickaxe. Good side to good side. The man appears now, I'm gonna be sad. Oh no. Yeah, I'm, I'm the man. Really, the man really in the corner. Hoping there's no more interference. Because I my know the answer. How can he be in the corner system. when we're outside? Close them. 
Oh, are we actually going in the cave? Take the will and pull. Soon may the women come. No. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Gatekeep gaslight girl boss. My friends, my sincerest apologies, but I have received a request to wait for about 30 seconds. Please wait for 30 seconds. Okay. Okay. Okay, dude. Okay. Okay. Dude. okay. okay. We can do a New Year's countdown. Hi, Amber. Hi, Quill. Final countdown. Hello. Guess what? Guess what? I fly now. Also, I can change outfits on a whim. Nice. Did you make it 3.0 or? This is always at 3.0. Why? Because you're practically picking a microphone when you sing. I'm very much looking forward to the finished part. Is my microphone still that high? Is this, no, wait, wait, finish project of what? I hope it'll be. <laughs> well, um, can we see Hey. 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 Fucking here, only bad taste. Fucking hugging here. Beautiful. Hi. Hugging here. Instead of hugging, I can default dance on you. Did you hear about my? Did you hear about my performance? No, but congratulations. I know, it was epic. Guys, I went and saw it. My friends, your attention, please. VR travelers. Continues. The appraiser returns to the time tree with both just a moment. Guy in the corner. <laughs> Oh, God. Corner in the corner. God. There are several people in the corner right now. Oh. Yeah, like, technically, Trajan's uh, in the corner, and so is J-Monkey and Pop. Lucia, it out, you boy. are an man, angel man. of mercy. <laughs> I appreciate I thought he was gonna that. say murder. My like... dearest friends, the story continues. <sighs> At this time, everyone Please ensure your world music is still turned off. I repeat, go to the settings menu yeah, when you hit off. escape and turn your world music to zero. It's still off, so... Now, late evening at the outskirts of Eternic. The appraiser stops and looks at the darkening sky. She notices a red moon rising on the horizon. Miss appraiser, where are you going to travel next? And why don't you travel during the day instead? I can't sleep near near that tree and and why stay here ah uh, no one ever comes here anymore what do you mean 
This is a very common place of trade. Ah, uh, no, what about the vision of the man in the crystal? We didn't see what happened to him. Let's have a look at it again uh, for a clue. The artisan gives a worried expression, but the appraiser ignores him, taking the purple crystal out of her pack. She looks into one of the sides of its flat surface, searching. The artisan cautiously moves closer to observe. The glare of the sunset quickly vanishes, and within the crystal, he sees a dimly lit cathedral interior. The appraiser sees a sunlit room. There is a canvas and a woman dressed in religious garb. She sits with her back turned. A familiar person paints on the canvas, smiling and glancing at the seated woman. The artisan sees a man frantically making his way across the cathedral balcony. The man looks to the left as he rushes, and the artisan feels a twinge of pain in his mind. This causes him to look away from the crystal. The appraiser, now, where she is, struggles to see the canvas and the woman's face. So the appraiser turns the crystal in her hands to look through another side. Through the surface, the room is now empty, the canvas gone, the woman gone, the portrait hung on the wall, and the man, the man is not gone. The man is now staring through the service directly at the appraiser. His face distorts as he speaks. The appraiser grips the crystal in her hands, paralyzed, unable to move. Blossom, O fallen seed, and draw upon thy hidden powers. The artisan realizes something is very wrong. He rushes to grab the crystal away, but stops when it begins to float out of her hands. Grant unto thee the power of the glorious titan of destruction. Just then, a bolt of ether ignites between the crystal and the appraiser. Her arms drop, the crystal now suspended by dark lightning arcs coming from her eyes. Abel, Abel, you're... She falls, unconscious, now suspended in the air. My friends, and this is it. <laughs> the appraiser is moments away from death. But the artisan hears you. He reaches for the appraiser's merchant pack. Then, with eyes closed, 
He thrust his hand inside, grappling probability, wishing for anything that will stop the demon of the crystal. Dear tourist, what does the artisan wish for? You have 60 seconds to decide. All right. This is it. Orange yes, ether crystal. It. We've come prepared the letter, for this. The lecture yeah. is ether crystal. No, orange nope, ether crystal. Not the we've, tried the, we've tried the lecture. The lecture is orange color. Blue. color. Blue. You must grab an emotion. <laughs> that will ignite you. Wait, what color. do we have? <laughs> We don't have, we, have we don't have to have anything. We can oh, get him. Yeah, he's, we're wheeling it into existence. Because he can add shit uh, into the story, like how they did the paint bucket. Oh, yeah. With Fanta. Uh, what? Amir. But yeah, we know, we know the color. We can color. simply just wait for power a anti-demon fucking True. box. Spray. We fucking know we're orangey to crystal. We know we have something to give. <laughs> Yeah, we, we do know the we answer. Though. Specifically, we should know the answer. Everyone else just had shit. Oh, okay. No, I. This is not completely un. No. No. I'm not kidding. I can't wait to answer. He pulls out exactly the item that he needs to defeat the demon. Just like how they pull in Yu Gi Oh! They're like, you can't pull that card. And they immediately pull that card. 30 seconds remaining. If you already know the answer, Lucian, I recommend you justify it with the rest of the group. That's fair. Alright. The item we're going to be given the artisan is an orange ether crystal. The Please. ether we that we need to the crystal, and it was effective. However, it was the wrong kind of ether. Yes. Okay. Well, what does the orange ether... mean? Hope. Orange hope. means hope. Yeah. What does orange oh, mean? Orange is hope. And this okay. is oh. this is what we. Mm. What, what about hope? mercy? Learn. This is what we learn would be. Be the proper kind of ether that oh. we need. Can you say something about mercy during the snowy windmill? What if that was a clue? <laughs> I think we've gotten well, all the color clues would... we need to this answer. What, what color would be mercy? <laughs> no idea. Uh, well, well, for now, we don't have to go with. We know what color is hope. Oh, I'm almost up. Anyway. Fuck it, roll the dice. Let's go. Just pull it out of here. Oh, diamond cut. Leave my diamond. chocolates alone. Why a diamond cut? That's just a hint that Sheen gave me. Oh. Let's go. That I gave out. everyone. That's true. <laughs> that you mean what he's on? Hands in hands. We gotta My face friends. Up with our own hope. What what if we held hands under the tree? My friends. Yeah, everyone hold hands. We gotta my hold friends. Hands. Are you my friends? Oh yeah. No. Yes. Oh, yeah. We are. Yes. <laughs> Why wouldn't we be? Yeah, yes. your friends seen. Ready to yeah, hey. Or am I to die when they finally know? What? Who knows? The you artisan know listens, hearing thoughts as if they are being read to him. He knows what should be in her back. <coughs> He wishes for it to make sense, because it must. My friends, what does she wish for? What is your answer? The orange ether crystal, the ether crystal of hope. VR travelers, fan, Lucian says the answer to this challenge is an orange ether crystal everyone do you speak yes against yes. this answer yes. no. 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 No, 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 no 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 yes we get like the answer no. i agree with this answer wholeheartedly we stand together we're going with the cream. I'm going to use my own essence if I must. The cream's the same. Yolo. 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 Yolo.
Blue is our collective <laughs> brain cells. Our friendship! Blue yes. yes. shares <laughs> all five of our brain cells. Blue <laughs> is brains. It's just the one brain cell. <laughs> My friends. He uses the mitochondria. You are more beautiful and intelligent and most importantly creative than you realize. In fact, friends, everything you I repeat, everything you say dictates what happens next? Stand together. Even with him. The artisan listens, hearing thoughts as if they are being read to him. He knows what should be in her bag. He wishes for it to make sense because it must. He feels in his hands a new crystal and pulling it out to see its sh shimmering orange hue. Hope, the thoughts say to him. Gripping the orange crystal with both hands, he quickly lunges to block the bolt of dark ether. The demon roars in anger at the as the appraiser drops to the ground foolish mortal you know not what you do None. the purple crystal ignites with dark fire and the ether bolt grows, pushing the orange crystal back as the artisan struggles to hold it steady. I... I may not know what you are, but... I know what I am doing. I am not letting you win. I have hope. Oh, baby. I will take that back from your undeserving hands. I will undo the evil manipulations of my world. The life you live. Crystal's black flames grow violent, reaching near the Artens' face, burning his hands. There... You won't take anything. You are not supposed to be here. The appraiser returns to the fight. She grabs the orange crystal together with the artisan. Her eyes are determined and full of hope. Guys, group huddle. How can you be content as prisoners? All hands in on the this crystal, united. Domain. All together. Stand you united. are controlled by fools. Who see themselves as gods. Our existence is a plaything to them. They would kill us if it so pleased them. Isn't that right? No, because I feel bad. Ah. Oh shit. What? Hey, hey, hey. You won't take him for us. That's enough. Wait. Be fair, Stop. I am grateful to be given this world by whoever to create such a beautiful chance for us to live. And that can only make them my friends. I won't let you hurt them. Us or anyone. Oops. 
multiple bolts of ether erupt from the orange crystal, quickly overpowering the dark fire. The light ether shines brighter and brighter, engulfing the dark crystal. <sighs> Matters not where you foolish gods hide them. <laughs> I will find a way into every world you create. You. You have no control over me with your words. I have already. Circumvented your selfish influences. <laughs> Not even the machinations of Rendezvo or his associate will be able to stop me. Ah, eventually I will kill them both, and I will find a way to the top. And then, 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 destroy your world, world from above. This is not your story. Silence! <laughs> no, Sophia. It is not. We'll meet again in my story. For a brief moment, the appraiser gives an expression first of surprise, then one of guilt. We will. I know. I know we will. The bright glow of the orange crystal begins to fade, and the world comes back into view. The artisan pulls back in surprise, looking around. The village of Eternic. It's gone. There is nothing but rocks and water. There are ruins scattered about, looking to be years old. Possibly many, many years. What? Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Where is it gone? Where are we? What's going on? The appraiser, at first, does not respond. She is motionless, looking at the broken remains of the purple crystal on the ground with sad eyes. She watches as the color drains from the shards, dissolving into the ground. The legend of Eternic Village. When I first heard the story, I knew I had to find it. It is said... <laughs> it... it was a beautiful place, rich in the purest of ether. Eternic... Eternic was almost... was also famous for the magical items produced and traded there. Including 
the ultra-rare ether crystals. The legend goes, the village was n lost hundreds of years ago. But I knew I, I would find it there if I looked. I knew I would find a crystal there. Well, Mr. Artisan, you're probably wondering how you're here, or how you're even here at all, or, or, or what I'm going to do now. Mr. Artisan, I'm here to meet our friends above. Of course. That's why I am looking for ether crystals in the first place. I knew it the first time I saw one. Before today, I've only seen three in my life. Each time I looked into one, I saw the same group of friends. They were always on different adventures. Deserts, caves, even classrooms. I could not really tell what was going on, but... It was clear they were helping someone. Just like they helped us today. I have a feeling we'd have a lot of interesting things to talk about if we met face to face. And, well, the way we do that is simple. We have to find all the ether crystals. <laughs> of course. Oh. That's... Uh, that's a lot to take in. But... Where does that leave me? Well, I'm not certain, but I think I now, I think now that you've been realized, you have no choice but to accompany me, Mr. Artisan, <laughs> as my traveling buddy. But wait, yes, there is one more trade we need to do. Yes, the friends I saw standing around us, they gave us this beautiful orange crystal. <laughs> Mr. Artisan, as any respect, respectable merchant, I must make a fair trade. Oh. I know just the thing. Oh, really? And misappraised. What might that be? The appraiser pulls out her compass. It is no longer spinning. It seems to have many, much too many parts than the normal compass should. She smiles wide at it and then wraps it in a piece of brown cloth. <gasps> I don't know why that's oh, a gift. Why? Yeah, that's I don't, I don't understand why that was a gift. <laughs> Gas. <laughs> Yet again, you look like you know more than you're letting on. <laughs> yeah. Still smiling, the appraiser eyes 
and throws the compass over the cliff. The artisan tries to follow it with his eyes, but the moonlight shines off the water too bright and he loses track of the compass. There are no ripples. Where did it go? The artisan squints in confusion at what he just witnessed. Uh, I'm starting to get a headache. I don't think I'll ever truly understand what's going on with you, Mr. Fraser. The appraiser turns to look at him. My friends, the gentle mountain breeze moves through her hair. She is beautiful. I know. Don't worry, Mr. Artisan. I have faith. They will figure it out. Dearest travelers, congratulations. This is the good ending of the yeah. tour. The good ending of the appraiser. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How many months? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How many years? Oh my God. Six years. I need a group hug. Thirty-six years. Do we know how many runs it was? Hold up, I'll be right back. Uh, many. Six, so many. Months? Yeah, I've been through three of them, so I think there's six of them. I had three, a couple I missed. Since no, the beginning of November. Sophia. I know what I have a, one of them this? already on my YouTube channel, so... Who was Sophia? Hmm. VR Traveler's logo. Oh. Dearest mm -hmm. friends. So that's all two hours completed now. It occurs to me that the appraiser has given you a gift. All of you, members, tourists of VR Travelers, check the VR Tourist channel. The appraiser has given you a gift. Well, all right, mm -hmm. let's see. Right. Finally, get to see what the compass looks like. Hold on, I gotta oh, open up this I've been waiting <laughs> for this. <laughs> so oh, did you mean the travelers or the tourists? Wait, huh? Double check. I don't think it's uploaded yet. Hang on, guys. Yeah, I clicked on the appraiser it. channel. I thought that was right, it. I was in the general VR travelers chat. <laughs> well, that would have yeah, awesome been the appraiser chat. Well, well we're limited by the technology of our time. Obviously, we're from a future dimension. But don't worry, it will appear soon. Of course, yes. It'll get there one day. It'll, it'll show up on face tweet it somehow. To it'll be today. Because, you know, if I had actual oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Why do I feel like that? That is a freaking <laughs> I've seen one. Of course it has to be one. Oh, that is sick. Oh, you're right. It's Wait, a fucking gold yeah, number. Like, God this fucking is a fucking code. You got work to do. Give me that picture. Alright, Lucian. Wait, what? What? Um, what? Well, so, it's a fuzzle. Like you can spend more 15 hours. Dearest friends. Dearest <laughs> friends. <laughs> dearest <laughs> mortals. Lovely. Beautiful. Excellent. Absolutely talented mortals. Did your mother ever tell you that you were special? Well, she was I don't right. Have a mother. <laughs> well, then oh. I am your mother, and I tell you that you are lovely. Hey, my mama. Thanks, mom. Dearest mortals, listen carefully. The story is not over. Congratulations. You have unlocked the good ending for the first time in ever VR Traveler's history of the appraiser. 
And now, my friends, I must thank you for your involvement. All of you already know that we are a group of friends. All of you already know that we, we work together to train our voices. All of you already know that we do this for free. And all of you already know that we work hard to search for others and internally as well to create beautiful worlds. And all of you already know that we love each other as friends as well as you. Because if we didn't, the world wouldn't stay together. Outside of VR travelers. That's proof. I repeat. That is proof that unity exists. Some of you might be thinking, there goes Sheen with his usual talk about love and happiness and unity. Well, I tell you that you are right. Because today is a special day. Today is proof that everything I ever said is correct. I told everyone in existence, no matter what story they're in, no matter who's telling the story or what character they, they are in the story, how deep they are in the narrative or how high they are in the reader, that wholesomeness exists. Unity is a bridge to the bottom of the top. I dare not say more, otherwise I'd be slapped by Rendizo. My friends. <laughs> <laughs> Rendizo went. Rendizo's like, uh, what? <laughs> My friends, you are proof that there is goodness in humanity. You are proof in this little silly VR chat storytelling community that the world will go on. I don't think some of you understand the power of what's happening here. No matter what you read, no matter what you see in the outside world, the catalyst of what causes what to affect what grants what here is proof that we are on path to have the words already filled your mind. You're right. To the good ending. <laughs> the good ending oh, I thought it was you. of everything. Of Earth. My friends, I will open a portal to the rendezvous in about five minutes or so for the after party. I will serve drinks there and say silly things with you and perhaps reveal a few secrets. Rendizo will run around and if you find him, he might say something that might reveal a clue or a new area or an entire dungeon that reveals the next chapter of VR Travelers if you're paying attention. Or Trey Jim will be in the library and you may ask him questions that may offer a key to the golden door that destroys everything or the purple door, which... Well, I can't say. We'll find out. But, my friends, the floor is yours. You have five minutes before the after party. Uh, I love you. Uh,